What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing? Jim Hazard back here, and my guest host, Allie. Hello. That's right. So this is part two. Thank you if you watched part one. I know it was a little bit long, but this stuff is kind of long in this game, so we're going to try to get through as quick as possible. And as soon as we get to another save point, we are going to stop the video. That's what we're going to do. Go from save point to save point to try to make it as short as possible. Then we can just have the whole series and you can follow along with us. So like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Here's part two, so let's get to it. Yep. Let's talk to... Okay. Oh, great. I get to destroy my voice first. Junko, here we go. This is bad. What was with that announcement? It was, like, totally creepy. Okay. Ugh, shit. What the hell kind of game are they playing? <laughs> what? What the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? <clears throat> um, something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. Listen. I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? Oh my gosh. Go get him. True. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. That's pretty good. How is you? No, great. Well, are you okay? Is everyone okay? I guess we have to look around also. Oh, okay. There's some stuff out here. That surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. But there's no way that's a real gun, right? Hmm. I guess the hat. Put up. Holy cow! What's with this huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. Yep. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't here then, though. That's the same thing. Also Monitor, I guess. Monitor. There's a TV. Cool, is funded by the national government, so I guess that's not where that TV's in here. Yeah, same as before. Same as I wonder what it is. Just like the trophy case. No, no, all the way to the right. I think it's... There we go. There we go. A mailbox. There's nothing inside. We just went... I think that's it. Then I guess exit? Yeah. Here we go. Alright, we have to go to... Now it's the gym? Yeah. To the gym. The gym that way or the other way? Way, I'm pretty okay. sure. I'm gonna follow you. Yeah. There it is, Jim. Let's Jesus. go have a fit in it. <laughs> hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Host Peak Academy was gonna be such a pain in my balls. <laughs> it really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um, and why isn't there anybody? Oh, I said that wrong. It's wow. anyone. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls. I didn't see a single person. We walking through the halls. Are you saying we're not a person? Her hands over her eyes. Had a very good this walker. This is bad. Isn't that like seriously not good? Like, who's gonna look at me? <laughs> the, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. I'm sweating like crazy. I like I'm gonna mess this up. Here we go. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Ugh, shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, where's whoever called us here? And he disappeared. What I'll are you thinking? Me. Mondo, stop, no running. I just imagine just Mondo running through the doors and Ishimaru just like speed walking to get up to him. He's gonna write him a ticket. <laughs> well then. I too shall go. <laughs> hey wait! Don't leave me here all alone! Scream! <laughs> so weird. I, I can't do that high stuff, my throat will fly out. <laughs> okay, time for some more tutorial action! You can press the triangle button to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. I know, right? But we have three girls. Right. And they're. 
I'm looking at the trophy case first. The display case? There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? No. But this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. Alright, I guess I'll talk to people. Hmm. You. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to send a text. I usually don't do that during videos, but kind of important. <laughs> All right. Total silence. For whatever reason, he's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Um, where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Talk to a voice destroyer over here. This is bad. I'm totally getting a. Ugh. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Monitor? I think it's the same thing. Yeah, it's just gonna say the same thing, so I don't wanna read the same thing over and over again. Oh no, this is something different. Oh. They couldn't all just be for that weird pool broadcast, could they? This? Bob? The top, yeah. Play case, there's all kind of trophies and plaques inside. The same thing. Deal. Yeah. yeah, ultimate, probably tiny fraction, awards, all the way to the right, we got the camera. That's... Camera, camera. camera. Sometimes it gives you coins, so it is worth, like, checking. Another surveillance camera. I feel like we're being watched every second. I don't like it. Ah, uh, there's no other thing then to go in. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. So filled with an uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym while stuttering like crazy. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See? Told you. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Oh, I hit my throat. <laughs> and your bears. Look at that guy, he's awesome. Huh? Uh... Teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was, it was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. All I had to do was talk in a high-pitched voice and everybody was scared of you. That's right. Well, look at the... Look at that red eye. He's <laughs> handsome. What? 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 That teddy bear can talk! <laughs> Calm down! I'm sure there's just a speaker inside of it! Hey! Come on now! <laughs> I told you already! I'm not a teddy bear! Headmaster! I'm Monokuma! And I'm your headmaster! Say what? What? It moved! No! I completely lost his voice. <laughs> Dude, shit. Seriously, man, calm down! It's probably just remote control toy or something! Dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You cut me deep, deeper than the Marina Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Bear it! Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Well, eh, uh, that really, you are unfortunate. Now then, moving on! 
We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, okay, so... <sighs> he has abandoned the gag. Good morning. Everyone stand at attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning. What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then. Let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life will... Your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake. You appear students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live in a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then, we've gotten the end date for this communal life. Too bad. There isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. What did he just say? Until the day we d d die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I'm not screwing with you. I'm no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh-huh. Ah, just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school? They're there to keep us trapped in here? Phew! That's exactly what they're there for! No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come! So with all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon! Hey, come on! Come on! What the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you! Yeah, cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. Son of a bear! You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? Fine. I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come on now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave. Hey, um... Oh, but you know... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually... As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now then. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they, and they alone, will be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? 
What do you mean by destruct the destruct? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Oh my god! What, 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 what? Stop it! What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> Thank you for doing that for me. <clears throat> well, you know, if one person were to murder another, murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Don't correct me, I'm Monokuma. Okay. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know. Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting! What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... it's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. <laughs> what are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah. Stop blabbering, on, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering? Blabbering? Hey, blabbering? Blabbering? What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go! Let us go! You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over! Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world! Got it? Yahoo! You can kill as much as you want to kill! So go ahead! Go on and kill, kill, kill and spree! <sighs> Alright, come on! How long are you going to keep this up? Oh my god. Hmm? He You're said gonna it. Say it. Oh, okay. You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick! I'm right, right? Yeah, because I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shit. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Jumping hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of the Monokuma. His voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, a-hole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean? Like your hair? Ooh. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! Watch your profanity. What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What? No smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit!
<laughs> He's hilarious. Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out. Get rid of it. Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it. I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... The hell? What the? Uh, that sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ring in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I'd never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means uh, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. Huh? Uh, whoa, there's another one. Damn you! You son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now! Mm. Of course! Well, yes! I was serious about trying to kill you! You did violate one of the school regulations, after all! I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on! Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt! Hey, Spanky! This is bad! Hey, so does this mean... Oh, I feel like I said that wrong. Uh... Like, totally. <laughs> hey, hey, so does this mean there's, like, a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school. Yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well... You all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't be so forgiven with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again! Huh? Uh, that's not even punishment, that's just wrong! Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you! This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it... The E-Handbook. Huh? Hmm. I am... Yes. Well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys? You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Sing! Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed! The same thing applies here. Which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close! Bye-bye! Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, how did the fight we just experienced? What the crap? Huh? Why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever or kill? <laughs> what? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, 
We need to calm... Ugh. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But... Killing someone, that's... <laughs> we were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other. This is... No! This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Right, now it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So in other words... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? For that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. Hmm, just good. And that's when it hit me. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like looking at you. Almost all of them. I realized the true terror hidden within these rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deeper than each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Welcome to despair. The end. The end. Surviving students. Fifteen. 15. To be, be continued. I thought we are going to read it together. They're going to read it both like synchronicity or oh, uh, something. Oh. Hey, hey, look, it's Monokuma. I love that guy. Hey, hey, wait till I show this to Lois. was excited my throat half gone. You received the school crest present. Oh. Alright, so we're at another save point, so that means we can end the video. Good because my throat is about to fall out of my face. Mm. It's not easy trying to do Monokuma. Uh yes, so thank you everybody for watching episode two. This one was only about half an hour, so uh they said we're going to try to make them as short as possible, go from save point to save point. As soon as we get to a save point, we're going to end the video. So please do like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully you had fun. This is pretty fun doing this. Yep.
is my daughter's idea. So I figured, yeah, we'll do this. And I watched this, sh this uh, show with her and I thought it was great. It was an awesome show. So definitely don't mind playing through the game. We will have more for you. So uh, join us along and uh, check out the animation if you haven't. Yeah. yeah the animation anime. Be good. Anime. Is I thought she was going to correct. It didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. All right, everybody. So thank you for joining in. And we will see you in the next video. Say goodbye. See you next time. <laughs> All right. Later, everybody. And thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I'll see you next video.